Well, today we'd like to take an opportunity to uh, uh, showcase the rubber plaster mold casting process. Perhaps by now you've actually seen the process in action down with our foundry team, but this would be a case study example of a relatively intricate thin walled geometry. In this particular case for a, uh, a uh, automation uh, application in which uh, it's a low volume ongoing plaster mold uh, production process that we're offering to our customer. This would be tooling that would be offered up in the seven to eleven thousand dollar range and in low volume quantities pre unit piece prices in the hundred and fifty to two hundred and fifty dollar range. But as you can see it's heavily cored, a lot of intricate detail and passageway. Uh, like the plaster mold process by now you're aware it's capable of great surface finishes, thin walled sections in that the mold media itself is refractive and this particular part would have passed through a horizontal machine center after a vertical lot preparation and it's gone on to be painted and uh, assembled as you can see here in this uh, in this case. Uh, the plaster mold process again a great way to get into a complex thin walled geometry with good surface finish for relatively low cost upfront tooling dollars.